Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to be going over, well, we are going to introduce EV3 Classroom. So the reason we're doing this is because, well, the reason we're teaching EV3 Classroom is that we figured that Lego EV3, well, Lego FLL is trying to phase out EV3 Mindstorms recently. Um, because currently EV3 Mindstorms does not work for the new version for the Mac OS and apparently they are not fixing it. Instead, they are trying to release EV3 Classroom on both Mac OS and Windows. Therefore, we feel that LEGO is transferring EV3 programming from Mindstorm to EV3 Classroom. So, um... This is basically the basics of EV3 Classroom. Um, I'll show you the obstacles and um, things related to EV3 Classroom. For example, let's start like right now. So for example, um, you see this motor slot, right? There's a bunch of other slots. You can um, start reading them, but um, basically, for example, if you want to move straight, you can just go to movement. Uh, it says start moving straight, there's move straight, there's move forward. There's so much options, you can just play around. Let's just say we want to move this here, you can, for example, you can move right, maybe 50 degrees. Um, there's a lot of things, so when you're using here's some basics for ev3 classroom when you're using like a block you can just drag it here if you want to delete it you could either click it and then backspace or you can just put it here and then let go so um there are different things you can make for example you can make a my block like for example, you can call it anything like, let's say, a test my block. So you have this, right? And you can just maybe add an input on like speed or maybe the degrees you want to go, um, whatever. But for example, let's just make a my block. Let's say my block um what so save it and now you have this but um if if you're not like if you accidentally saved it too quickly you can just click on double click on it well yeah double click and then um you get this so you can either delete the block and it won't show or you can edit it rename whatever um so also um when you first start out in ev3 classroom you'll get this screen so as you can see i have a lot of projects right now um i've already shown a video of how to follow the line with ev3 classroom so basically um this is your start um you can just look at this. This is basically teaching you how to build the robot, which you can probably do by yourself. It shows it on EV3 Mindstorms 2. Um, you can start new projects. You can rename projects. If you want to click the three dots, you rename, say, um, like maybe test project, maybe. So it just renames and you don't have to save anything. So that's kind of a good thing. It's more organized. Like, see, these are all the blue ones. These are all purple. They have um, in order. They're all in order. They're like, you, you know what they are. You don't have to click on them and um, maybe 
Yeah, so you don't have to like, for example, in EV3 Mindstorms, they don't actually give you words. Like if there's a variable of speed, for example, if you go to movement and there's straight in these variables, they won't actually give you these words. So this is way more organized for EV3 Classroom. I'm not criticizing EV3 Mindstorms. I'm just saying um, this is more organized than EV3 Mindstorms. Um, and also there's one improvement that this is less glitchier. Um, EV3 Mindstorms is really glitchy. And also uh, once you connect the robot, for example, um, there's this um, symbol. So yeah, there's this and if you want to scroll to the left, it shows you the steps to enable Bluetooth and you can connect to your robot, whatever your robot's called, you can just connect there, click on connect. And also this um, EV3 classroom can download way faster. Like if you just click it, then it would just download immediately. Um, there's also another thing, um, it's basically like the zoom in part is basically the same. Zoom in, um, there's zoom out. Um, there's also um, redo and undo. Oh wait, yeah, redo and then undo. So if you like made a mistake, you can do that. Com Command Z also works. See, that's Command Z. And then we. So, um, you can do a lot of things. Um, you can go check out my video um, for line follow. Um, this is basically it for um, EV3 Classroom. As you can see, there is a lot of um, programs and we are going to make more programs in the future. So, so this is just an introduction to EVP Classroom. Um, uh, I'll, I'll give you the download, download link at the bottom um, if you like this programming language. Uh, it's not so hard as a programming language because it'll do what you want it to do. For example, move straight. If you actually connect it to the robot, download it, it'll actually move straight for one location. So um, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And thank you.